During Qian Long's life, he totally had about fifty recorded imperial women. Because Qian Long passed away at eighty-nine, most of them died before Qian Long. Only nine of them were still alive when Qian Long passed away. They were either didn't have son, or were very young. So after Qian Long passed away, all of them moved to Shoukang Palace. This video is about those surviving concubines. The noble consort Yang came into the imperial palace when she was seventeen years old as the noble lady Na, and was promoted to the consort Yang when she was twenty-eight years old. One year before Qian Long passed away, Qian Long promoted consort Yang to noble consort because she had stayed on consort position for forty years, and the consort Yang was near to seventy years old. The noble consort Yang didn't give birth any kids. She raised Qian Long's youngest son Yong Lin. Who was born by the Empress Xiao Yi? So Yong Lin and the Emperor Jia Qing were four brothers. Yong Lin was hated by Qian Long because Yong Lin always did what he wanted without any restraints. In eighteen zero zero, his noble consort Yang's seventieth birthday. Yong Lin came into the inner court without any permission, and threw a grand party for his foster mother. This behavior seriously obeyed the inner court rules. Jia Qing was furious when she found out. Jia Qing stopped the party and ordered Yong Lin immediately went out the Forbidden City. Up on getting the news. The noble consort Yang was scared and worried about her son. She was immediately sick and passed away several days later. The noble consort Wan was Qian Long's invisible concubine. She was Qian Long's 哥哥 When Qian Long became the emperor, she was granted the title first class female attendant. Two years later, she was promoted to the noble lady, which was still a lower rank concubine. In seventeen forty eight, Qian Long promoted imperial noble consort Xian as his second empress. To celebrate this big event, Qian Long widely promoted his imperial woman, the noble lady Wan. Got the chance to be promoted to the noble concubine one, but her living conditions were kept the same. Then the noble concubine one became invisible. She quietly lived in the corner of the Forbidden City until 1794, one year before Qian Long officially retired. He last time widely promoted his imperial woman. Luckily, the noble concubine one was on the list, and got the consort title. In eighteen zero one, two years after Qian Long's death, as the oldest consort of Qian Long, the Emperor Jia Qing promoted the consort one to the grand. To the daughter noble consort Wan, and improved her living conditions very much. In 1807, the noble consort Wan passed away at 92, and was the longest lived consort of Qian Long. The consort Dun gave birth to Qian Long's favorite daughter, the princess He Xiao of the first rank. She had a bad reputation in Qian Long's inner court, because Qian Long loved Princess He Xiao so much. He forgiven all Consort Dun's mistakes. 
Her concert title was granted by Qian Long. There is no record about Jia Qing giving her any titles. In 1806, the consort Dun passed away at 60. The consort Jin Fu Cha Shi came from Qianlong's first empress, Xiao Xie's branch. In 1798, Fu Cha Shi joined the imperial election event and was capped by the emperor Jia Qing. We don't know Fu Cha Shi's birthday, but Reasonable guy says her age was under twenty. If she was twenty, Jia Qing was eighteen years older than her. In ancient Chinese royal family, this was pretty normal. Unfortunately, Jia Qing kept Fu Cha Shi neither for himself nor for other young prince. Fu Cha Shi was granted a title of noble lady Jin. And became the concubine of Qianlong, who was eighty-eight years old. Several months later, Qianlong passed away. The noble lady Jin moved to Shoukang Palace. Jia Qing didn't give her any promotion. Twenty-one years later, Dao Guang became the emperor, as the only living concubine of Qianlong. The noble lady Jin was promoted to granddaughter consort Jin. Two years later, the consort Jin passed away at about forty. The consort Feng was a Han Chinese. She came into the imperial palace in seventeen eighty seventeen sixty six, like the noble consort Wan. Or even worse, her rank was kept in the lower level for thirty years. Before Qianlong retired, she was promoted to the noble concubine. Three years later, before Qianlong's death, Qianlong promoted her to the consort. The consort Feng passed away in eighteen zero one at fifty two. The noble concubine Gong came into the imperial palace in 1748 as the first-class female attendant Lin, and never got promotion. In 1794, she was promoted to the noble lady, and passed away in 1805. The noble lady Shou was like the consort Jin. She was elected by Jia Qing for Qianlong. She came into the imperial palace in 1798 and passed away eleven years later. The noble lady Bai came into the inner court thirteen years after Qianlong became the emperor, as the first class female attendant. In 17. Ninety-four. She was promoted to the noble lady, and passed away in eighteen zero three. The noble lady E came into the imperial palace three years after Qianlong became the emperor as the noble lady. Then, for some unknown reason, she was demoted to the first-class female attendant. She kept in this position until 1794. She became the noble lady again. She passed away in in 1808. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.